and welcome to my channel. This is Divine Jedi Guide in 717, and I am here today to do our What is Their Karma reading for the month, okay? I'll do it every two weeks. I'm trying to do it. I got a schedule for every two weeks for you guys now. No less than once a month, okay? To check the energy and see what's going on. Behind the scenes about people that are coming towards you with karmic energies and what, what their reversal is going to be. Because right now we're in a reversal season, so um, they will be reaping what they sow. Let me turn this light on here, too. For one second. Okay. All right, y'all. So, I thank you all for joining me today. I hope your day is blessed and beautiful. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. If you are new, welcome. If you are one of my tribers, thank you for joining me again today. I love you guys. I thank you. Um, everything that you guys need to know about me is in the description box below. Pricing, booking, um, donations, um, even our P.O. box. Questions, you know, you guys can email me or leave it down in the comment section and I will answer and return that, okay? Let's get started. Spirit guides, what is the overall energy for what is their karma reading today? What is the overall energy for, ooh, ooh, geez, somebody got chaos in their life. You got chaos on the board, y'all. These cards falling out all over the place. <laughs> Some drama is what's coming their way. Some reverses in the building. Spirit guys, what do we have for what is their karma? What is the overall energy for what is their karma reading for our collective today? Ooh, wow. They would not have any personal power. That's deep. So they will not, they will lose control of all things. They will not be able to stand in their power. They will always have issues with forward movement. Anything that they want to grow or blossom, they will not be able to. They will be in spiritual jail. It's a spiritual jail. You cannot move. They can't manifest. They can't do anything. They're stuck. Mm -hmm. Yes, and they won't have any intuition, any warnings, any gifts from spirit. They'll be shut off from spirit completely. That's their karma. That's some deep, heavy karma. Ooh, when you can't connect with spirit and get your messages, ooh, no. And at the bottom of the deck, no healing. So anything that, that, that they have issues with, they will have a problem with that, with healing it. No adjacent possibilities, no blessings and abundance coming their way. Mm -hmm. And their secrets will be revealed. They will be revealed as who they truly are, who, who what they've been doing behind the scenes. Yeah. They will have to sit back and watch you and be jealous forevermore. Yeah. Wow. What did I say? Door to spirit in reverse. There will be no, they will be in spiritual jail. We have personal power snatched away, intuition in reverse. And the spirit, the door to spirit in reverse, no kind of connection. When it comes to door to romance, they will not have any love. Everything that they, they will be a side piece, something to do. If they are in a relationship, it will be hell. There will be no affection, no connection, no intimacy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That sucks. That's that's the people that probably wouldn't bothering you. You, have, you guys have a lot of people that were hating on you behind the scenes when it came to your relationships. They were jealous of the relationship that you had with spirit too. But didn't want to do the work for them to gain it. They also were ignoring their intuition and going against what spirit was telling them to do in order for them to stop. Many people have gotten messages for them to stop over or stop using their personal power the wrong way. And now it's reaping season. They are learning that lesson through their love and through their power. They don't have any, they can't manifest anything. No kind of control over anything. Yes, all they will, they're, they're reaping heartbreak. They're going to have a major heartbreak in their life. Everything around them will be disappointing. They will be living in disappointment. No love and heartbreak and shut out from spirit. Hmm, mm, mm, mm. Any, strategies that, any strategies that they try to do to you, you guys have a lot of people trying to do Manipulation and cause chaos in your life. People were overusing their power and their authority. If you have bosses, they were overdoing their authority. If you have friends, they were stabbing you in your back. When it came to love, they were hating on you. Family members hating on you. Trying to do deceptive things and stop and put blocks and issues in your way where you can't move forward. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They will not have any balance in their life at all. 
everything was to continue to stay chaotic and messed up and screwed up. Yeah, and this season coming up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, that would be their karma. And they would not have any victories. No victory. Anything they touch will turn to shit. They will have to pick what, what people are bring are their karma, guys. Is these people who have been walking around you doing manipulation, watching you suffer, causing you to have issues in your life, um, where you can't move, making things difficult for you to things difficult to grow in your life, blocking you out from certain things, stopping you from promotions, stopping you from happiness, relationships. Stopping you from your money, messing with your bag, your home, your children. That these people, and then smiling in your face, their season is shut down. Okay, this is reaping season. They will not reap anything. They will all, all they will do now is, is surrender to the reversals of what they've caused. No love, heartbreak, can't make anything work. Whatever they put their mind to is going to fail. Okay. Anything that's sent out to you will be reversing immediately. There will be imbalance, stuck in karma, stuck in a reversal with no victory and whatever they put their minds to, it will always fail. Mm -hmm. And they will have to sit back and watch you reap your love that you deserve. The angel of love is coming down to protect you and cover you and make sure you receive everything that you deserve as well. So whatever side of karma that you're on, that's what you'll reap. So it's good and bad karma here. Okay. Yes, they will not be able to rest. They will have sleepless nights, nightmares, stressed out all the time. You see that? Because they know they broke your heart. A lot of people know they hurt you and backstabbed you. They talked about you. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah. They will, they will forever. <laughs> look. Look at this, y'all. These people have been manipulating people into loving them as well. The Queen of, of Cups in reverse. They have been manipulating people to love them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And a lot of them got heartbroken by just sitting out trying to make sure you just you got your heart broke. Now they're about to be stuck with karmics for the rest of their life. They're gonna be in a cycle stuck with promiscuous cheating, unfaithful, disloyal, trifling, controlling karmics. These people are about to be everybody that they date will be mental patients and manipulative and very overly sexual. They would they would never be a actual mate. They will always be stabbed in their back. The the tea that they brew for you, the potion that they brew for you is boomeranging back in their life. Door to spirit on top of door to spirit nightmares. Mm -hmm. They brewed a nice nightmare for themselves. A mental patient when it comes to love, obsession, mental manipulation, overly sexual, always breaking their heart because they're in the bed with their family members and messing up everything they've done to you. It's coming back to them in this season, y'all. Mm -hmm. Any strategy that they have for you not to have love, they're reaping that. They will not have any true love in their life either. This, they, this person and these people will always have issues when it comes to love. This is crazy. This reading is focused on love. You guys have a lot of people doing shit so you guys cannot come into union with whoever you were meant to be with. Now they're about to sit back and have to watch y'all. Stressed, stressed out while spirit got them tied up. Spiritual jail. And when you're in spiritual jail, your your power is taken away and your intuition is shut down. Personal power in reverse, intuition in reverse. Okay? Wow. No balance. Their masculine and feminine is not balanced at all. And they may even, when your masculine and feminine is not balanced, and you're this sexual, they may be be stuck between not knowing and confusion on what they want between male and female. And anybody that they get involved with will manipulate them. Play games with them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Look. They will have defense when it comes to balance. They will not be able to ever have anything balanced out in their life. Seven of swords, seven of uh, wands. There will always be a pullback. There will always be some type of boulder in the way for them to balance their life out. They will not be able to be in defense. The universe is in defense when it comes to them allowing them to balance. 
They they wanted to shit on your victory. Now they're they're not going to have one at all. Period. In any form of their life. And mostly right here, what we're seeing is love. Yes. Yes. Everything will be about deceit in their life. And they, a lot of them will stay single and miserable. People were even putting spells on you guys for you guys to be stuck single. Yep. They wanted you to be stuck single and not have anyone. You had a lot of crazy people around you. I know some people in my life that were, um, and that's the truth, as the swords. I know some people in my life about no victory as well that um, were narcissists. A lot of people. In this past, for almost four years since my twin flame journey, I have cut off a lot of people. And I love them from afar. If I see them in cross and I say I love you, you know. But as far as dealing with them and having them in my space, I protect my energy. Because I know what I deserve. And this is all they wanted for you. And it's the absolute truth. They wanted nothing but loss for you guys. No victory. No happiness. They were narcissists. Narcissists don't care about anybody but themselves. Mm-hmm. King of Sword energy. Narcissists. You guys are, were surrounded by a lot of people that were all about themselves. If, if they didn't have it, if you didn't, if there wasn't, let's say for instance, you guys start a business, okay? And you're very humble. You're very happy. You're very helpful. And you tell your people about it. They get quiet, change the subject. And then behind the scenes, they're talking about you. Now you think you're better than them because you're doing you're doing something with yourself when they can do the same thing. And people will use that energy to put it in within themselves versus hating on somebody, then they will have some good karma. Instead, they're stuck, mental patients, trying to find any way to destroy you, not understanding that whatever you put out, you receive. And that's what they're about to find out. Mm-hmm. All the work they put into hurting you, they're about to receive it right back with mental issues, mental problems. Mm -hmm. They work their ass off to, to not have any love, any kind of love at all. Everybody in their life will be false. Anything they manifested for you will boomerang back to them in this season. Yes, they will walk around. Look at this, y'all. Heartbreak, right? The hoe. Queen of Wands, heartbreak. Heartbreak, again. Heartbreak, heartbreak in the middle. Karmics. They're going to be stuck with people that never love them. Okay? What, what they manifested for you, they're about to receive. Third party situations. They will never have a person that is faithful to them. They will always try to make a hole into a housewife or a house husband and it will never work out. This person will be caught, these people will be caught in a cycle of no love, no affection, no growth, no, nothing when it comes to togetherness of the heart. Without love, everything, nothing is balanced. On top of the yin and yang, defense against balance. The universe has them at defense against balance. It has them held up against it. Without love, you have no balance, which means they will never have a victory the next turn over. Mm-hmm. Yes. They will not have any love offers. It will always be false love. Somebody having a motive, just like they had motives when it came to you. That will be their karma. Damn. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yes. <laughs> the strata, strategy in reverse of no love. Two, two of cups be, trying, to, trying to be that whoever this was with the strategy here doing manipulation and try to keep the two of cups, the twin flames away from each other, they're about to reap some horrible karma. This, queen, this empress in reverse, nothing will grow for this person. Everything that they do will fail. If they have children, the, the person that they were with, your person learned a, is learning the lesson and closing out this cycle because this person's about to be found out about the children that are not theirs. That this situation was nothing but an illusion. That's about to be revealed. Mm-hmm. Yes. They try to block you, try to block you from, from coming to, from bringing balance with your twin flame, right? Mm-hmm. Now they're going to have to sit back and watch you in union with your emperor. Yeah, with emperor and empress right next to each other. Mm-hmm. You guys are in separation because one is one is in reverse, one is upright. 
Yeah, but you guys are about to, everybody's about to sit back and watch what they've been fighting against. And then whatever they sent out towards you guys, they're about to receive it back and have to sit back and watch you happy. Ain't that some shit? And that's the truth. Wow. All right, Spirit, give me some more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what did I say? There will be no victory in this situation. There will continue a cycle of karma with no victory, no growth, no prosperity, no love, no no um personal power, no intuition, no spirit, no door to spirit. Their narcissistic activities and behavior has been rain back into their life. Illness, unhappiness, um, no abundance, no growth. And that's the truth. Mm-hmm. A cycle of karma is all they're going to receive. At the bottom of the deck, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. And their finances will always go to shit. They will not have any new beginnings. Mm-hmm. Everything, if they if they stalled your finances, they did anything in your finances to make you stall, guys, no problem. There's about to be a completion to that, the ending, and it's a reversal in their life, as you see. These people were all about the community. They were all about what people thought and what people wanted, what they thought that they wanted to make stuff, to make you look bad to the community. This person had a mask on, they were a snake the whole time, but they're about to be revealed in this season. Yes. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Mm. Spirit guys, that says a lot. Give me some more when it comes to the narcissist. What do we have for all the narcissists? That, what, what is their karma? Wow, what's that? It popped out. Yep. <laughs> they will forever stay immature. They will never get it. They will never get it. They will continue to go on a pinwheel cycle like they're on a, a, a Ferris wheel. And go around and around and around and not understand why they're not moving. Why are they losing? They will never get it. They will have a mental block. The same, does that mean somebody was messing with somebody's crown chakra? It's boomeranging back. The work they put in for that will boomerang back in mental health. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. Thunderbolt. It's coming. Karma is in the building. Yes. Yes. And are they going to always look? And for those who, who who constantly broke your heart for to choose a thought pocket, okay? And they're still not making it right. If they, it's not much time left for them to make it right. If somebody constantly, they knew they were choosing a sex magician over their actual empress, okay? If this person does not fix the situation, they will be caught up in third parties and karma as well. Because this person that they're with, they're about to find that out as well. That's about to be the tea that's about to be spilled. Is that the, They're about to have a major heartbreak because the person that they left you for was nothing but a whore. And they have a third party that they're in love with. And have babies, a baby by too that they're about to find out about as well. But that's what, that, that's what happens when you choose love, l lust over love. That Somebody's about to learn a harsh lesson about that. Mm-hmm. Yes. These people will continue to repeat lifetimes as well of trying to be in control. Trying to be in control. Yeah. The Empress in Reverse is also a control freak. Trying to be in control. These people, they, they blew their own life up trying to be control freaks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Trying to mess with someone else from past life. The masculine and feminine are destined to be together. This is something that that's destined and faded. That's why you're shut. That's why these people are going to be shut down through spirit. Personal power taken, intuition taken, and door to spirit closed. This is destined and fated, a divine partnership, a divine couple that, that's had, that shares the same soul for many lifetimes. And people have been involved messing with that. And the strategies that they use are now blocked and boomeranging back to them. Mm -hmm. They will now be in their, in their mind stressed out. With no balance, stuck in a karmic cycle of mental confusion and stress. There was a lot of crime chakra um, manipulation here, y'all. Yes, it was. They will now be stuck in a cycle, the world in reverse, 
of mental mental health issues. And we have it over here, the Queen of Cups as well, with the tower on top of that. So we got the tower over here with the mental health, with the Queen of Cups. And then we got the uh, world over here with the mind. And for lifetimes, this person will do that. These people will reap that for the next lifetimes. Yes. They will not, the, the cycle will not end. They will continue to reap it. Completion in reverse. Wow. It's not worth it. Bothering the union, the empress, and they will still have to sit back and watch you guys come into union. That's about to be a union here, y'all. Yes, courtship. You guys are about to come into union. High honor. The universe is doing this. This is the higher power coming in doing this because people were being control freaks and stealing, thinking that they were the higher power. They're about to be taught a, a very harsh lesson. Yes, a message of concern. They're about to find out. Look, you, what did I say? Union. They're all about to have their mouth open and want to kiss your ass, kiss you guys' ass, and oh, how are you? And oh my God, I'm so happy for you. No, they're not. Mm -hmm. They're going to be really in deep despair, caught in their mind, trapped in a karmic cycle that they cannot get out of. And they don't have any powers of control anymore. Nothing but despair for the rest of their doggone days. Mm -hmm. And many of them are concerned. A lot of people are stressed while they're watching you shine. They worry now. Because you, you, you won't allow them in your energy. Well, how they been using, Lord? What have they been, what did I say? I bust the deck open. <sighs> Cards never lie. Spirit don't lie. People lie. Crown. Symptoms, imbalance in logic versus emotion. Overemphasis of either material or spiritual realm, mental illness, disconnect from guys, distorted telepathy. And stay kept your person blocked. So you guys cannot come into union. These people, it was more than just one person, more than just the karmic. They had a team of people, their community on both sides, masculine and feminine. This is what their people are now going to reap mental health issues. They're all going to be reaching out for you to give them some type of sympathy back. Yes, and who's doing it? Spirit. Spirit is not, they're shutting it down. They're done. These false lovers were even caught themselves being friends. Backstabbing you guys. Telling your person not to choose you. Lying, to, with, lying on you to your person. For thieving, they're going to also catch, their health is going to be affected. A lot of people are going to be sick, having illnesses, and the things they send out to you, they are reaping it tenfold in this season for being a control freak, trying to prove a point. You are covered. That's the message of concern here. Past lifetimes, the twin flames, emperor and empress, are covered. They are blocked and protected by their ancestors. That's the message of concern. These people are trying to wonder how the hell are you getting past all this darkness that they're putting out towards you. And how the truth is being revealed. You got a serious spiritual team. High honor. When you walk in high honor, you are divinely protected. And so it is tenfold boomerang. It's all they're going to receive in this season. You don't do stuff to people to think that it's not. And, and then you guys had to go through your despair of understanding that majority of these people that was out there was hurting you and your masculine were family. Both of you had to are, are about to go through it. Some of you feminists already went through it. Some males, some masculines have. To find out that the people that you love the most are stabbing you in your back, are disloyal to you, is the most excruciating pain that you have to ever heal from. Take it from somebody who knows. Especially when you're an empress or an emperor. You're a giver. Your heart is all. You give anything to your family. In this season, these people will be stuck in their mind about what they actually did to you. It will be playing over and over and over again for years to come. In a karma cycle in reverse, stuck in the cycle like the world on a pinwheel of repentance of what they've done to you. And that's the truth. 
They will not have any victory at all. Because a lot of you have shut, will be shut, have shut or about to shut these people out of your life. This is how they will stay in despair. Family is just a word. Okay? That's what I learned. Yes, in relationships. They were blocking your relationships. They were causing issues and severances of ties, problems. These people, nobody ever wants to see you happier than them. You got to be careful. When your circle is shut down and is made smaller, it's for your highest good. The higher power knows, especially when you're a divine being, you have a path that you have to walk and certain people can't go with you. Just a message. They're about to be froze out your life, whether you want them to or not. A lot of people are about to be, be removed if they have not already been. All right? Let's hit a couple messages here so we can see before we close out. Whew. People, something else. Yeah. Stay focused. Remember why you started this journey. Mm-hmm. And mirror effect. Boomerang. What did I say? What they send out to you is coming right back to them in this season. And so it is. It's, it's time. These people are about to reap what they've sown. They are reaping it now. Or about to. And they're not saying nothing, but it's happening. In this season. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. You can know an Aquarius. It can be an Aquarius that's causing these issues in your life. The, the, it just retrograde just left out of Aquarius too. The moon's in it as well. Mm hmm You could be a Capricorn as well, or you're dealing with one. Aquarius came back out. A lot of you guys are being crossed by an Aquarius or have been crossed. But this is the wrong time. And Aquarius is like in the head. It's a head sign. You guys have some major haters around you. Yeah, you did. These people are reaping karma. Yep. But they always had a choice. This is what Spirit said. Spirit said that they all, the reason why they're going through this karma in this tower is because they had a decision to make. And they made the decision that they wanted to make. You always have a choice. Whatever path you choose, whatever decision you make, you make that choice because you want to make that decision. Don't Nobody can't say nobody made them do anything. It's because you wanted to do it. They're about to find that out. Mm -hmm. What did they say? Friends, high honor. You're the high honor. Somebody made the wrong decision. They chose a hoe and got their heart broken over and put, should have put you in a third party or masculine or feminine, taking how it resonates. But that person, was they chose a hoe and tried to make a hoe into a housewife and did not know that you were high honor. They overlooked that, okay, by listening to their friends, listening to what the community said. But look at this. Now they see who you for who you are, the empress. And if you have a child by this person, it's you are you're the person that has this person's baby. The other person was a liar, the empress in reverse. They need to get a DNA check there and their health checked out. You are all four queens. Take it how it resonates to whoever's in the energy. This is zero in the highest. You cannot be broken. You are the goat. It's about to be shown in this season as your light shines. That's their karma to sit back and watch and can't do nothing about it. And so it is. Hmm. Yeah. Here you go again. Chose the wrong, the, for still in your destiny, still in you guys' relationships, still in your happiness, still in your finances, taking you and your kids through hell, through poverty, putting you through things that were unnecessary to your health and to your babies, okay? These people stole from you. Being controlling, thinking they're funny, lying about babies, the empress in reverse right next to the empress upright. When you were the person who carried the baby. The lovers, wrong choice. Your person's about to make the correct choice. They're going to have to sit back and watch you guys come into union. Mm -hmm. It's going to make them sick. But that's okay. That's the way, that's karma. That's how it's designed. Yeah. And have no fear at all because what's destined to happen is about to happen. Your ancestors are supporting it. They're bringing you two together. If this is a twin flame union, you guys are coming together. 
Your ancestors say so. Have no fear. And don't worry about anything bothering you because you can't be touched. You're divinely protected and armored. Yes, that's about to be a message of concern for these people who cause they putting their nose in situations they ain't got nothing to do with. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Your, your family's going to have to sit back in despair. These people, these people that you call family and friends that, that was messing with your mind and causing chaos in your life are not going to be stuck in their head on why they did with you like they did you in, dis in despair because they were your supposed to be family. Uh-huh. And watch you in the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune, is the, this is the good luck. This is the best card to have in a whole freaking deck. You see the owl behind there? Very wise, intuitive, aware, connected. And your personal power and your intuition is on. You're connected to spirit and protected by spirit. So everything you guys touch is turning to gold in Wheel of Fortune. And there's nothing you can do about it. Nobody else can do about that with you guys. Mm-hmm. You guys can also be dealing with a cancer. Yeah. Look at this. Look, right beside the cancer. What did I say? The, the, the friends that was hating, these friends was hating, okay? They were hating on the union, y'all. Y'all got a lot of friends that was hating on y'all. Effing union, okay? High honors revealing that. The lovers, the wrong choice. They knew you were choosing the wrong person. Yes, they did. Look at this. The emperor and the empress right next to each other. Three and four, that equals seven, right? That's destiny, baby. Drop smike. That's all I'm going to say. Keep it moving. No, and, and, and nah, okay? For all the people that was hating. And nah, look at that. Three or four. Destiny. Faded. Untouchable, unstoppable. Your family and friends that you call close people, that's not. They can't stop the lovers. It's a true love relationship. Mm -hmm. They're about to be sick about it. No matter what happens outside of myself, I know that I am safe, divinely protected in armor. What did I say? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The world, new cycle, blessings, abundance is here. Why, why what? Why everybody sit back, all the haters, and sit back and do what? Reap judgment. Why you reconcile and you guys come into karma, come into uh, good karma. And they reap the bad in judgment. And you're in a whole new cycle. The world. New beginning. Mm -hmm. And the universe says yes. That's what's about to happen. I thank you guys so much. That's their karma. If you guys have any questions. I look forward to the comments down below. I love you guys. I thank you. Um, I really appreciate everything. I do. People have to stop letting people get in their head and understand that we are all put here to live a certain path of happiness. All of us have a path. We choose what path we want. If we don't take the right turn, when everything is going bad, that means it's not the right turn, okay? If it's for you, it'll flow. And people want to keep you confused. They don't want you to be happy. Because nine out of, 10, out of 10, a lot of people in our environment, families, friends, community, are not happy. They wearing masks. So why, why, they get mad at you because you're not anymore. So they want to keep you stuck. So of course they're going to send you towards the way of the devil. And that's what happened here. But you cannot stop fate. You cannot stop it. There's nothing you can do with it. We're going to end it right there. What is for you will never pass you by. What is meant will always come together. And anybody who has caused the issue to keep it apart will only reap karma. Dark karma. The world in reverse. The tower in reverse. Judgment in reverse. Injustice in reverse. That's what's coming to them in this season. Tenfold. And so it is. I thank you guys. I love you. And namaste.